Hello and welcome back to another Outdoor Intrigue review video, this time with me, Megs. Today we're looking at the Women's Rab Alpine 600 sleeping bag, new for spring summer 2022. I've been using the Alpine 600 now for the last two months and I'm ready to let you folks know what I think. So let's start with some stats. The RRP for this sleeping bag is £260, but you can pick it up for around about £230 to £240 if you shop around. The Alpine 600 uses 600 grams of RDS certified hydrophobic 650 fill powered down with an EN comfort rating of minus 5 degrees C and a comfort limit of minus 12 degrees C. It has a tapered mummy bag design cut specifically for women with individually stuffed baffles and an angled foot box. It uses a wind resistant 20 denier Pertix Quantum ripstop outer shell fabric and Rab's own recycled nylon inner. There's an internal stash pocket big enough for at least an iPhone 12 Pro and likely a smidge bigger and has a three quarter length YKK zipper with an anti-snag zip guard. It comes with a large storage bag and compression stuff sack that I would highly recommend changing as it's not waterproof or a roll top. It compresses down moderately well, being 650 fill power down means unlike higher ratings like 8 or 900 fill power, you need to use more down to get the same warmth rating. More down means more weight and more filling to try and compress. On my scales, it weighs in at 1,064 grams without the stuff sack. Rab's listed weight is 1,000 grams exactly. If that all sounds like technical nonsense to you, the Alpine 600 is tough without being too heavy, warm enough for most UK conditions and has some lovely design features. Now you know the facts and figures, let's jump into the pros and cons of this bag. First, let's start with the good. This bag is warm. I will caveat this as I do sleep hot, especially for a woman, but I would happily use this bag all through winter. So if you're intending to use it for spring or summer use, you'll be more than toasty. Rab have their own warmth rating that uses real world testing and athlete feedback, which reckons this bag would be comfy down to minus nine. I've used it in air temps down to minus four and around minus 10 wind chill and always in a tent using well insulated mat and I've been perfectly fine. I feel like between minus five degrees C and minus nine degrees C is a fair bet, provided the rest of your sleep system is also suitable for those temperatures. The recycled nylon material Rab have used on the inside feels lovely against the skin and doesn't feel sticky or clammy. And I like the fact that the inside pocket is big enough for most modern phones. The tapered fit is snug, but it's not restrictive and the bag moves well with me when I change positions in the night. I'm five foot seven and that's pretty much the limit. I wouldn't want to be too much taller as it could start getting a little bit restrictive. One of the features that I like most on this bag though is the zip guard. This clever little piece of plastic surrounding the teeth has so far completely prevented any snagging on the outer material. It's a great design and something I'd happily sacrifice 10 grams for on any bag. The eco credentials of this bag are also pretty good. The down is RDS certified, meaning it's highly audited by a third party. There's no live plucking and animal welfare is a top priority. The bags are filled and shipped in Sheffield in the UK. They're fluorocarbon free and Rab are one of the few companies offering a wash and repair service to help extend the life of your kit. They've been a climate neutral company since 2020 with the aim of being net zero by 2030. There's still work to be done, but Rab know that and they're working hard to close the loop while still creating great products. Before the comments roll in on it, yes, as a vegan, I've made my peace with using Down. Unfortunately, we don't live in a utopia where the meat industry doesn't exist, and Down is a byproduct of that. I'd rather use a natural material that will eventually decompose over synthetics that will continue to pollute the planet long after I'm gone. It's a personal preference and one for you to figure out if it fits into your own code of ethics. Finally, the price. You're getting a lot of sleeping bag for your money with the Alpine 600. Whilst Rab only reckon it's a three season bag, I'd happily use this in Scottish winters. I've used it mostly in snow, so far exclusively in the mountains, and I think for the most part, bar really extreme weather, I'd be confident using this through four seasons. That rounds up what I think is good about the Alpine 600. Let's move on to what could improve. As an ultralight backpacker, for me, this bag is quite heavy. On my scales, it comes in at 1,064 grams, which is pretty close to Rab's stated weight of one kilogram. While this is comparatively light, there are definitely lighter bags out there, especially for summer use. I've just picked up a Rab Mythic 200, which weighs half of what the Alpine 600 weighs. It has an EN comfort limit and Rab rating of one degree C, which is much closer to the kind of temps I would expect in UK mountain weather to get down to, especially in late spring, summer and early autumn. The thing I'm not too convinced on as well is the hood. 
This is totally personal preference to me, but I like to sleep with my camping pillow in the hood of my sleeping bag so it doesn't slip and slide around on the mat. I find the hood a little shallow and even with the adjusters, I haven't quite managed to get the cinch quite right around my face. This might just take a little more figuring out on my part and hasn't affected my comfort or warmth. So it's more of an observation than a negative. And really that's it on the negatives. So what do I think of the Rab Alpine 600 women's sleeping bag? I think it's an excellent entry-level mountaineering sleeping bag that offers great value for money. With the right layering systems and sleep setup, this bag can see you through all four seasons in the UK and be a quality, versatile addition to your kit list. The materials seem tough, and whilst at this point I can't comment on longevity, it's definitely well built and has some really cool features like the anti-snag zipper and the soft inner fabric. For anyone looking to get seriously into wild camping, mountaineering or pushing their adventures into colder seasons, I'd definitely recommend the Alpine 600. It's also really cool that Rab are designing and manufacturing kits specifically for women. I find it super frustrating that the vast majority of outdoor kit, shoes, sleeping bags, packs are designed for men without taking into consideration the differences in our anatomy. Whilst I know there are exceptions to this, the choice is much more limited and usually less technical. The fact that this is tailored to women makes me feel more confident in its ability to keep me warm and comfortable. So that sums up my review of the Rab Alpine 600 women's sleeping bag. If you liked the video, please do think about liking and subscribing. If you have any questions about the sleeping bag, please leave them in the comments down below. You can keep up to date with all of our latest adventures on Instagram at Outdoor Intrigue. And until next time, thanks for watching, happy trails, and see you out there.